Whoa, 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 whoa. Good morning, it's Tuesday. Let's see how many, if any, we have left to lamb. Anything? You too. What are you waiting for? <laughs> Today? Hi, sweetie. Good morning. My new ones are doing really good. I would say that foster lamb is still still not on that mom. And the sibling died. Her original lamb that I got here just in time two days ago when she was upside down, it died. I noticed yesterday morning it, um, its mouth was cold and I'm like, what is going on? So I was bottle feeding it all day yesterday and it still died. So that goes to show you if they don't get colostrum, sometimes it is just a battle you cannot win. I think you just have to supplement whether you think they're getting some or not and just see if they take the bottle because worse Worst case scenario, they don't want it because they, they're getting enough from mom. It's often worth your time just to see if they'll drink some, if you have any gut feelings at all, they're not getting any. But in this case, I really did not have that gut feeling. However, my gut feelings might be a little numb right now because <laughs> I think I need lambing to be done. There's one left and then that questionable you. Sometimes if I know they're almost to the end, which they are, I will often induce them. So I'll see how today goes and maybe if I can get them in that little alleyway, I might just give them a shot of dex dexamethasone and uh, just speed, just so at least I know in two days they will be lambed out. All right, I'm gonna grab a bottle and feed that one and uh, feed my, my other little babies, I can hear her, that I put in this pen yesterday. I'm coming. She's so itty bitty. She's like a little pocket lamb. Just a sec, I'll show you. That's her at the back. Look how little she is. I haven't forgot about you guys. It's just been a busy morning. Uh, my dad ended up coming over for a visit this morning. So I took a couple hours with him and Mark and then we just had lunch. I'm taking a few minutes right now. I waited to bed them today because now we're into these temperature swings again. It's like cold at night, warm during the day. So I'm gonna do this quick and then I wanna run across the road and start weighing my September market lambs. They are a month late. I do a weaning weight and then I like to weigh them about a month later, so about that three month age. And usually I got I have a handful of lambs ready to go at that point, but it just coincided with lambing this time. So I never really got a chance to do that. So I am going to do that this afternoon, get an idea of how many I have. I'd like to ship some tomorrow night if I can, if there's some in that 105 to 115 range. So I wanna do that. If there's still time today, I might have to wait till tomorrow. I wanna run over and go through the ewes that I weaned in, when did I wean them? November, I think I weaned them in November. I'd like to go through that group, do an utter evaluation and go through my weaning weight data and see what ewes I should um, also put on the trailer this week to get shipped to the sales barn. I know there's a couple that had really bad mastitis that I treated. Uh, treated a while ago so they're, they're clear to be shipped but I just want to make sure I get them and then any that just were poor performers as use or any that lost their babies or anything like that. I'm feeling kind of like I'm catching my breath again but in saying that it is overwhelming the amount of jobs that have not got done yet because I was lambing. Everything kind of gets pushed aside. I am still down to those last two use. I was thinking about inducing them. I have to just check on on how many hours it takes from giving them the needle to when they will lamb because I don't really, if I'm scheduling an induction, I don't want them on my watch to actually lamb in the night. If they do that naturally, then fine, that's out of my hands, but I don't want to actually schedule it to have them lamb through the night and have complications. So I'm just gonna text a few guys that I know induce their sheep and see 
I think for, for whatever reason, like 32 or 36 hours sounds about what's in my head, but I just have to make sure. I think they're gonna go on their own, to be perfectly honest, but um, I, I just want it done, because I really, I really need this not looming right now. I'm finally getting these pens kind of situated so they have more room and oh, there's no greater feeling than taking down these lambing jugs. It's very exciting. When I get to let them all out, it is, it is a pretty sweet day. And they're very happy with me. This makes me kind of sad, to be honest. It's really quiet. I know I made the right decision. I'm just, I forget how much they're just good for the heart. <laughs> Even though I wasn't like a serious bee farmer, they're just such quiet, gentle beasts that they take all your worries and all your struggles and you just, you're at peace with the world for like the five seconds you look at them. And now they're gone and it's, oh man, I really need some sleep because I'm not usually this much of a sap. Oh, okay. Okay, I do have to close this door and then I have to uh, turn the water off to the water bowl just so it hopefully doesn't freeze. Probably should clean out the line, like air out the line. If I knew how to do that, I'd have to, I'll have to see what Mark's saying. Now, which one goes to the barn? I feel like this is, that goes up and it tees off first, so it must be this one. Why does this feel like so important? Well, you know what I'm gonna do? I'll turn this off, turn that off. I'm gonna go check in here, Let's see if we have water. We do, okay, so that is good. I'm gonna go check the pens. Definitely not. Okay. Yep, I shut the water off. Okay. Okay, we'll turn this back on for a sec. Okay, let's go see if that turned on the water again. Okay, so that was definitely not the right one. Okay, so wait a second. So if it goes this way, that goes up, that goes to pen one, pen two, it's gotta be this one. I'm silly. That's totally which one it is. Okay, so that's off. Let's go check those double checks. <laughs> hmm, trying to get to the float. How about we let some water out? If I don't hear the float come back on.
So the float didn't come back on. That must mean I got the right one. Okay, let's just double check this. Good. 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 Okay. All right, now I'm gonna get ready to uh, weigh these guys. Finally. You're big. Okay, I've got a, just a few in here because they're gonna be hard to catch. It's their first time through this since they're weaning weights because I'm behind. So this is this is a crowding tub. If you've seen my videos before, I'm just I'm just gonna talk to the people who have not seen this this portion of my business before. These lambs are four months old right now, so they were born in September. So that's how fast they grow. They were once the little lammies that you are witnessing right now, but they do grow fast. Uh, so yeah, so they're in that pen and I bring that crowding gate. I kind of bring that forward and bring just a few in here at a time. If you get too many, you can't move the ones in the front and it's just, it's hard on your knees, it's hard on your blood pressure. So that's what I do and I just bring a few in right here. They're gonna go through here, they're gonna go on my scale and I was just waiting for this to warm up. All right, so it's all ready to go. And uh, yeah, I basically just open this up. We'll see if they'll go. It's their first time, so it might be a rodeo. Hey, guy. Can you turn your head? Can you turn your head? No, yeah, you're not gonna turn your head, are you? The problem with my handling system, to get to the scale, it's too wide. So these, these lambs can turn around. So this should be narrower, but uh, with two hands I can get them up, but I've got the camera, so that's not as easy to do. So I'm just gonna do that, and then I'll show you what happens when I get them on the scale. Okay, I got him, I got her, him, her on the scale. So it's 83 and a half pounds. So now I take my RFD gun, and I scan the ear tag. If it would relax. There. So all the data, that you guys have seen me over in the lamb barn and this is when it comes up. So this you, this little lamb is a single, it's a ram. Uh, it's a whole bunch of breeds all together, but it's sired by a suffolk. Anyways, it's not ready to ship, so what I'm gonna do is let it straight through. I'm gonna open the guillotine gate, and it's gonna go through, and when I get enough, when I get all these weighed, uh, I'm gonna open the little, he's coming. I'm gonna open one of those gates and let them back in their pen for another couple weeks. There you go. There you go. Ready, Freddy? There you go. Just like so. And now I gotta do all those. Okay, that was quick. I already got one at 114 pounds. Just gonna scan its tank. Okay, so it's a twin. It's a ram lamb, born September 6th. It's a Dorset Rito Rito. Uh, its mom actually is, uh, do you remember a, a few videos ago I interviewed uh, Romy and Ryan? They, her mom, or his mom, is one of their ewe lambs that I bought a few years ago. So that's a Dorset, so it was a Dorset Rito ewe, and I bred it to one of my Rito lambs. So really good gains, 0.87. 114 pounds in four months, pretty good. So way to go, Circle R, good genetics. So now what I'm gonna do is I am shipping it to Brussels, so I just want that for my records. Hey buddy. There you go. And then I deflect it into this pen because I'll be loading tomorrow night out of, out of that pen. Okay, I got them done. I only have nine. I thought I would have had more. Now they are heavy. <laughs> they are on the heavier side. They're, most of them were over 110 pounds, uh, between 110, and I think the biggest one was 123. So I'm not surprised that they're heavy. I just thought there'd be more in that 100, 100 to 110, uh, but the, most of those ones are like 90 to 95, I would say, in this group. Uh, so they'll be ready in a couple weeks. So I, the good thing is I don't have to weigh next week, and it might work out good depending on how many call use I have tomorrow, then I can split the trailer in half and put the call use on the front or the back or whatever, and then have these guys together in half the trailer. So it might work out okay, actually. I'm kind of glad I did this today. All right, my camera's dying, so I better get these guys put back in their pen. I just Googled, because that's what I do. It was scientific though, so I think we're okay. To induce these use, it says at least 36, 36 to 48 hours, so. Now I gotta do some math. Okay, so my math says if I do it now, 
and that is actually what stimulates them to give birth, I would be laying in the middle of the night. So I think I'm gonna wait and do it at like eight o'clock tonight, cause, cause eight o'clock plus 36 hours, I think would put me at eight and 24 is eight o'clock tomorrow night, plus another 12 hours would put me eight o'clock in the morning. So eight o'clock in the morning till, um, you know, eight o'clock at night in a couple days works much better for me than in the middle of the night, especially when they're overdue and those lambs are gonna be huge. I wanna be here. So I'm gonna come back at eight o'clock tonight and induce those ewes and I will show you how I do that. Okay, it's eight o'clock at night and as promised, I'm going to give some dex dexamethasone to those two ewes. Here we go. Get this show on the road and get some babies. Okay, lovelies, are you ready for this? <laughs> oh boy, here we go, rodeo time. Be kind to me. Okay. Okay guys, we need some babies. Yeah. 